And what is up in the army? I am Gaming 5 coming at you with a brand new video. And welcome to the usual thing that we do on, uh, well, this day every single year pretty much. Uh, going back, I don't know how many years I've done this now. Uh, multiple. Uh, many. Many years. Uh, this is not the biggest, no, probably the least amount we've ever had, but hey. <laughs> well, well, I wouldn't really say that, I just, there's not much that we can really do in this, in the actual haul this year, but there are certainly some things to keep an eye out for in the coming weeks on this channel and other channels so uh, first things first I have a new controller new custom controller did not expect this I got it and we will open this today it's already open because they want to make sure it was the proper one so yeah that's that is gonna be look, looked at today on camera for the first time I'm actually gonna hold it for the first time then we have a Google USB charger which is a new charger for the new um, new Google Pixel 6 that I have didn't unbox it because it wasn't really needing to be unboxed I just picked it up then we also have the thing that was upside down in the frame uh, well, that was actually kind of behind me as I was moving the cord out of the way because it was hurting my foot. Anyway, we have the Google Pixel Buds A series. These we will unbox today. Now, uh, was it last Christmas? That was it last the last haul that we opened the Super Mario edition? I think it was. And we are back with another one. Another Uno ver deck, Uno Mario Kart this year. Looked pretty cool. Then, um, I'm on the fence with this stuff. Um, that's for sure. So we have the Wave 3. N not sure if we'll unbox this today, but, uh, it, it will be in a video. I got the HD60 right here. I filmed it, never released it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then we also have the pop filter for the Wave 3 and the shock mount for the Wave 3 so yeah pretty darn cool that's pretty much all the little that uh, that you'll see that's it I'm kidding <laughs> we also have this thing which I did get it confirmed, it's because there's four Lego sets that were purchased. This was thrown in. Might build this today. Uncertain that though, might maybe. Then we have four gigantic Lego sets. Sort of gigantic Lego sets. Anyway, uh, we first originally have the Scout Trooper head, uh, which can't wait to build this. It's the smallest of all the Lego of the head of the Star Wars heads that I'm pretty sure it's the smallest. Smallest of the two from the, the second wave of them. This is Vader. This guy will be in my office eventually. <laughs> and then we have two other things that will be in this office so that when they're built we have the Super Mario 64 Question Cube. Now, I know it has a very weird gimmick to it. Will I ever use the gimmick? Probably not. Now, I know this one doesn't really involve this channel too much, but there's also this set. There is the, fin the Lego Ideas Number 37, Fender Stratocaster. Now, this doesn't really involve this channel. I know everyone's probably saying 
that it doesn't involve this channel whatsoever. It involves me quite a chunk. This is the exact it's the exact guitar I actually own, which is really ridiculously cool. So, um, this will be in my office, probably on my desk, as I pretty much just cleared out a lot of space. So, um, yeah. Now, something I can already confirm uh, will be opened in a new in a video in the coming days. As you probably can't hear or hear me that well right now, is we got a brand new keyboard. If you were watching the um uh, Christmas countdown this year, you could probably notice that uh, a couple times uh, my uh, when I'm r typing stuff that sometimes it would just double something. Yeah, that's my keyboard. That was not me. Sometimes it was, but mo most of it wasn't. So, have a new keyboard, the G213 budget tech keyboard. Can't wait to unbox this. I'm probably going to unbox it today, but it will not be in this video. So, we have a lot to get to, most likely. Um, I, I think I've come to a decision. These three things the wave stuff, I don't think I'm going to unbox that today. We have, which leaves, uh, leaves us one, two, three, four, five things to open. Not that much, but hey, we're going to make a video of it, so. Without further ado, let's hit it. And uh, switch position. <laughs> let's go. Okay, well, that was annoying. Um, <laughs> this is take two of this part because I forgot scissors. So, this is the first thing we're doing. So it is the biggest thing out of all the things. It, well, it's the thing that will take the longest out of all the things we're doing. So, we are going to unbox and build a 152 piece set. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, get this open. Cut double tape. <laughs> I noticed in the last clip that it was double taped. Don't really understand why it was double taped, but it was. Uh, that's the instruction book. Okay, I was like, what? <laughs> okay, that's a very unique way of doing it. Oh my goodness. I hate it when they do instructions like this. <laughs> oh my goodness. There are 47 steps! Okay, what the? Okay, well, that happened. How many bags do we have? Is that bag? Is that plate? Those two bags. Okay, so we have three bags in this set. That is very straight. Ah, this has like got 2021 on it. That's what that plate is. Okay. So, without further ado, let's get building. I'm not going to speed lap time lapse this. So that will take a ridiculous amount of time to edit. So I'm just gonna build it. Probably silently. We will see. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> oh boy. For a little, like, loyalty set, that's pretty much what I would consider this. Uh, it's a decent size. Okay, step one, maybe one of these. Step two, we need a lot of these. <laughs> okay. So that's one, two. Then three is another one of these. Then two, two more of these. Oh, yes. Ow! <laughs> I'm gonna move the camera closer. <laughs> okay. Hopefully this is better. <laughs> I just, I can't say that low for that amount of time. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's, we're at step five now. I feel like we had a small, yes, we did have a small set last year. It was this guy. And you hear? It was Han Solo, Mud Trooper. This was last year. It's like, Lego thing that we built. It's, just, it's a lot bigger. <laughs> Would I say it's as cool as last year's? Ah, no. No, not, not one bit, <laughs> but still, still pretty cool, but not as cool as getting a mud Han Solo, and to be honest, this will take a lot longer than that. So <laughs> okay, then we need three twos, right? Yeah, three two thingies. One there, one there, and one there. Okay, next we need this. And this. Um. That's what it's looking like so far. It's not looking too fun at the moment. <laughs> then, um, four and uh, two fours. On that side, and then two, another two on this side. You know, I've never done, like, commentary for me building a Lego set. <laughs> this is quite strange, honestly. <laughs> it's kind of out of my comfort, comfort zone. Now, we need one of the two, four of these. <laughs> We have four. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
<laughs> now we need the Lego sign. Okay, there we go. That's not on. Now we need these. <laughs> then I think we also need four stubs on top. Okay. Okay, there we go. It's more square now. <laughs> now we need a lot of these. <laughs> Good strength to get that on. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's a cube. <laughs> um, then we have this. Then a white four and a white square stud. Then two more flat fours and two smooth. Then whole load of these. Okay. Okay, there we go. That part's done. That was a lot. <laughs> we're at the bottom at 18, so we're at 19, which is pretty much mirroring the top of the third row of instructions. Well, the bottom of the third row of instructions. <laughs> Not the entirety. 
That'd be annoying. <laughs> There we go. That's good now. This is taking quite a decent amount of time. <laughs> a lot more time than I would have thought. <laughs> okay. Next is... I'm making like a speed dial thingy. <laughs> okay. Uh, that goes with the red facing that way. Okay, there we go. It's like the control panel. Then these are gonna start making up like the line, I think. Okay. Ah, there's nothing there yet. Okay. <laughs> these in which pretty much just make up the line uh, so pretty much now know what this is it's a ride I'm guessing from Legoland <laughs> this is at least what would make sense it wouldn't really make sense if it came from Disney <laughs> well I guess it could be but it wouldn't really make sense because it's just like on oh. We got on the circuit. <laughs> okay. Step number 24 for these long beige things. <laughs> I'm stuck in the wrong spot. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's done now. Now, step 25 is putting the arches on. Okay. Pretty cool, honestly. Looking pretty neat. Next is we need these in the middle of the arches. And we need these on the ends.
Okay. There we go. So, looks like we're taking a little, little break from this now. Working on s something else. <laughs> So we need this. And we need both of these. We're now working on like a little swingy thing. It's kind of strange to be honest. <laughs> um, then we, we need to Flat squares, flat blue squares, and then one of these, well, no, two of these, which I'm guessing are meant to be seats, then two, two yellow tours behind them. Then two flat tours behind each of those. <laughs> okay, so so far that's what this is looking like. Pretty interesting. <laughs> now it's a head. <laughs> and I already looked further down and it says double, so just gonna bump bump. Okay. Okay, now. No, I both hose to here. Next, I need two black studs for both, so four black studs. <laughs> Triangle on that the front. Okay. Okay, not too bad. And then both of those go on to both edges of the like swingy thing. And that's what it looks like at the moment. <laughs> oh, I'm this extra one. And okay. Now we need this and that. Okay. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, get in there. Okay, there we go. Okay. Wee. Wee. No, it's not a fern. No connected to the thing. No. We finish pretty much. Okay. Not too bad, that looks really nice. Then there is two steps left. Now a lot more steps left. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I have been, oh. fell apart. <laughs> like that exploded. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I pushed it a little hard. <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> How did that Oh, do I not have this on front? Huh, okay. Okay. Let's not do that again. <laughs> It's not advised. I'm just saying. <laughs> we should warn if you weren't sure. <laughs> it's not the first time I've ever done that. <laughs> I did that with the Iron Man head once, and that was a pain in the butt to fix. Did that trying to get the front? I broke it trying to get the front on. <laughs> Okay, and the one out of four. Let's not break it on the final step. Well, I pretty much broke it on the final step. Broke it on the second last as my computer goes off. <laughs> anyway, it is done. The weirdest little build I've ever gone, but now I pretty much know what it is. It's arrived from probably a Lego land somewhere, but it's pretty cool. Anyway, <sighs> yeah, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> was it necessary to build that on camera? Uh, no. Ne well, necessary to build this on camera? No, no, not at all. I, am I happy that I did it? Yes! Will I ever probably do this again? Yeah, probably next year! So, uh, with that, I'm going to reset a little bit and uh, be back for the next part. <laughs> okay! Yeah, too, too close. Too close. There we go. That's better. Anyway, back with the next part. Now, this is what we're opening first. The boringest thing, probably. Uno deck. Uh, Mario Kart Uno. Um, 
I'm pretty sure it was last Christmas we opened a Super Mario Uno, which I've played I don't even know how many times since last Christmas. But um this one, much like that one, has a wild item. Uh, it has a special rule. So uh let me just uh, read this quickly. These five items really changed the game. Hmm. Huh. Dev's gonna read up on that again uh, when we get into this. So let's open it and let's uh, see what it entails. Well, actually, let's first show you guys the back. That's what the back looks like. And, uh, it, so, the special rule is the wild, it, like, card is the wild card. It's like the, it's the mystery cube, pretty much. It's pretty much it. Holy cow. There we go, got it. Good. <laughs> that, oh, it was good. Okay, that explains a lot. Okay. And an instruction book. And usually for Uno, you would think, nah, that's not necessary. Nope, this one is necessary. Big time. Okay, let's get these out first, though. Really, the look of these cards. Peter just went off again. Okay, there we go. Got it. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, these cards are really nice. They they have tire marks on them. <laughs> they have tire marks on them. That's funny. <laughs> Let's get these ones out of wrapping also. Uh oh. Well, wow. I am not doing too too hot. There we go. Okay. Okay, there we go. And uh, these are the other cards. Starting with green. Looks, they look really nice. And let me just. Okay.
Hmm. So the wild item box card, um, if you play it, you get to flip over the top card of the draw pile and immediately use the item on that card. Each item has a different action. Oh my goodness. Okay. Item box actions. Mushroom, take another turn. Note if you have no playable card in your hand, you still have to draw from the draw pile as you would on a normal turn. The banana peel, the player is cur in current order whose turn was immediately before you must draw two cards. Note if they were skipped on their last turn, that still counted as their turn and it was immediately before you, so they must draw two cards. Oh boy. Green shell, any player of your choice must draw one card. Lightning, all players except you must draw one card. Then you get to immediately take another turn. Then, ba ba bomb. Oh no, you hit a ba bomb. The bad news is you must draw two cards. The good news is, is since the top card on the discard pile is wild card, you get to choose the color that continues. Play. So. Huh. Very interesting. It's a lot different uh, than the pretty much any other one that I've played. Oops. But I've gone from that. <laughs> Okay, so I'm definitely going to play that later, um, and I'm pretty sure it's got, it's definitely more unique, the um, uh, special rule in this one, to what the special rule was in, is in the Super Mario version, like it's a lot more uh, unique, but um, yeah. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, let's move on to more fun items to unbox. They just threw plastic all over my floor. We have the two Google things. We're going to start with this one, the uh, USB-C charger, charger, yeah, I'm, gonna, that's French. I'm not going to try saying that. So this is meant for the new new phones. I've been running the block from the Pixel 3. And then we will also open the Pixel Buds, which pretty darn cool. So, without further ado, let's uh, get these open. So you get tape off. Ah. Uh, I'm not gonna put that on there. Ugh. Oh, it's stuck to my thumb. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, we'll open this first. Uh, in my view, it's a lot more boring than uh, the other thing. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Wrapping is off it. This is it out of wrapping. And now we will open it. 
I guess. How do you open That's the issue. Google has very weird boxes. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. There we go. A 30 watt power brick. And it looks pretty cool. Um, I'm quickly going to grab me cord from here. From can't hear me right now, or at least can't hear me super well. Uh, okay, so. This is the cord that I got with the Pixel 6. Not that long of a cord, to be honest. But decent length. Not bad. It does fit. Okay, that, that was my worry. But yeah, 30 watt power brick is now looking quite sharp, but it actually is quite nice. So, yeah, that is here and ready to go. Don't think we need anything else out of here, so I can just go back. Okay, next pixel buds now I have the old version of pixel buds this is the pixel buds a series so without further ado let's get into these okay Okay, there we go. Wow. So this one a lot different opening experience than the uh, than the um uh charger. So that that's the buds. We'll get to that in a little sec in a little bit. Okay. And this is the cord for the buds. Exact same cord as that one. Uh, sort of, just has a USB end on it. But I'm pretty sure they said this cord still works with this. But it is nice that they give you another one. So, uh, yeah. Now, uh, that, it, that's not everything in here. Wow, okay. Uh, what is this? Okay, so, first things first. Instruction book. Uh, Google like user man manuals, and I'm guessing these are silicone, the, like silicone ed ed ends for them, like replacement ends. That is actually quite nice. I'm gonna keep those in there. Get them off this little paper thing that is very sticky. <laughs> okay, there we go. So. That I definitely need to keep a hold of. Anyway, um, next, let's get these. Okay, wow. They definitely have some uh, quite a hef quite hefty compared to the old ones and. Man, that is a cool, that's cool. So this is pretty easy to open. The old ones are very hard to open. But, uh, yeah, I quite like these. They're quite, actually quite nice. 
But that's the bud. It looks actually quite nice. Then that's the pear button on the back of it. Uh, right where my finger is. Yeah, you guys can't see it. <laughs> it's white. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty darn cool. Now I want to test something. We are grabbing me phone. So... Okay, so yeah, that does work. Okay, so, I'm curious. They actually are charging on the back of they can they do charge on the back of the phone. That's actually really cool. That is actually a really cool function. I really like these. They're really, 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 really cool. And um yeah. So with that I'm going to Reset again, and we have one last thing to open, sort of. So, yeah, let's, uh, reset. And, well, you get another drill. Okay. Final thing of the video. Now, I did, I know I could have just done with this one. But no, 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 no. I had to go. Digging through boxes to find my old one. So I'm going to compare the differences that I made that are between the new custom one that I have and the old custom one. So I know a lot of you probably don't remember my old custom controller because it has been a couple years since they stopped using it. So, so quickly take it out of its resting place and this is what I had as my old one it was red orange gold sort of blue and tr and uh, and um, uh, metallic blue, and I really liked it, I used it all the time, I wore it out, and it, it still has, a, if you don't remember, it had something in it, that's also a reason why I retired it, so, I really, really loved this controller, the, and I've been dying to get a new one ever since it wore out, and it even has my old, um, uh, username in it. So, it's really nice. I really do miss using it. But, we have a new one. Now, I have, I did open it uh, originally when I first got it to make sure it was right. But this is the first time it will be seen on camera. For you guys and for me. This is my new controller, my new Xbox Design Lab controller. It is red, it is gray, it is black. It looks absolutely stunning. Like honestly, I couldn't be more proud as to how this came out. And the text on it is orange. Oh, that is really cool. So, this is the controller. 
This is the new one. This is probably going to be the one I'm using for most videos now. It is so ridiculously cool. And just for comparison's sake, let's grab the old one. The red on the old one is darker. It's more maroon. Wow. That is actually quite a big difference. Okay, so this new, this is the new one. This is the old one. There's quite a few differences with them. So uh, let's run through it. I'm actually going to switch to the other camera to do the comparison uh, of both. So with that, I'm going to switch and then I'll switch back to this to outro the video. Okay, so I'm now using the M100 to do a better comparison of them. So, uh, just stand up. So, with the new one, I went with the, um, I had there be just the original, like, Xbox 360, green, red, blue, and yellow buttons instead of having black with no color, colored text on which I really actually quite like and obviously there's no metallic stuff there wasn't when I was uh, picking out colors to suggest but um, what I went with this year this time around is pretty much just the main cha the channel colors. I went gray, black, red, and even these buns here are gray. And a big difference is this is a matte finish where this one is more like a glossy finish. And the um, edge of the controller doesn't really pop out as much, which is actually quite nice. I never realized this much change between the generations of controllers is actually quite neat. And um, on the back sides of the controllers, on, well, on this one, I had orange, I had uh, grips and stuff. On this one, on the other hand, it's just red. Which, in my view, it actually looks a lot, a lot more cleaner. I can't wait to use this. And this one can finally rest easily in its box. As I have finally replaced it with an even cooler looking one, in my view. So, with that, let's switch back to the... Other camera and outro the haul for this year. So as a quick rundown as to what we unboxed today, we unboxed Mario Kart Uno, uh, Google 30 watt power brick, along with Google Pixel Buds Series A. And camera lens. <laughs> we built the Legot thing, loyalty build thingy, and we on un we unveil and I unveiled my new uh, custom built controller, which I absolutely love. Can't wait to use this. Honestly, I really can't. And I hope you like the comparison between the two. It's actually quite nice to see that there is quite a bit of changes. So, with that, I hope to see you all in the next video. It will most likely be the keyboard or the microphone. I'm just saying I will probably be filming those today. So, with that, guys, I hope to see you all in the next video. Of whichever one it will be. With that, guys, I hope to see you all then, and good bye!